Greetings, I'm Archbishop Amon, and I appreciate the opportunity to share some thoughts with you at this time. At each Sunday Mass in New Orleans, we pray our family prayer. Together we pray to God to give us the perseverance to be a voice for life and human dignity in our community. As Catholics, we are called to be that voice for all life. This dignity is not reserved for the unborn and the innocent. In particular, we are called to stand against the death penalty in this country. Pope Francis has made this point very clearly, stating that the death penalty is in itself contrary to the gospel and heavily wounds human dignity, his words. We're all sinners and we all, even the most hardened of criminals, have the right to seek God's mercy and forgiveness. We're all made in the image and the likeness of God. His love is not reserved for those who are the so-called deserving, rather, as in the parable of the prodigal son, he seeks out those who are lost and celebrates their return to him. Who am I to say when a person's earthly journey to finding God's love should end? Are we a society that stands in the way of a person's right to repentance? These are not easy teachings of the church. In our humanity, we may see retribution as justice, saying that the punishment must fit the crime. Yet God calls us to be countercultural in so many ways. He calls us to forgiveness and to mercy and to peace, to a peace that the ending of a life cannot bring. God's love for us is limitless. As Catholics, we are called to bring that love to this broken world. My friends, I invite you to join me in prayer for all the victims and survivors of violence. Let us pray too for those who have committed violence and those condemned to imprisonment and death. I invite you too, after prayer for reflection, to consider learning more about the Catholic Church's teaching on the death penalty. There are many useful resources online to help you to become more informed, not only about the church's work to end the death penalty, but to support restorative justice. Through our prayers and the power of God, may hearts and minds be changed as a culture of life re-energized in our world.